a girl named Holly Armstrong. She was house sitting for a family who had been away for the weekend. And she kept saying that she got this really creepy feeling when she was upstairs in the house. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she okay. started to get really weirded out by sort of day two. She went upstairs finally and she was like, oh, why am I feeling this way? She opened one of the closet doors and saw this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my. No. It's a doll. Yeah, but it's, it's, oh my God. it's moving. Oh my God, oh my God, really... oh my God. Oh yeah, my... And it lifts its <gasps> leg like that. It 100% oh knows that she's oh God, there. Oh what would you oh do? Well, I like, I like, oh, I I like, I like her instinct. Run out of the house and light it on fire. <laughs> no, she didn't actually throw a match, as she clarified later, but she screamed, ran out of the house, and then contacted the owners to be like, what is, uh, what is happening here? I don't know what's going on. What are your theories? What do we think? Well, I think it's a it's a doll oh that yeah. somehow got turned on. But oh, it, you do? It, but it's the li the lifting Ooh. of the leg that's so weird at the end. Well, that's because it's not a doll that has been turned on. It is a doll that is possessed. It's your first look inside the house known as the Portal to Hell, a place where demons supposedly wrought havoc with a helpless family in horror straight out of The Exorcist. This is the woman who lived in the House of Horrors with her three children before Zach Bagans bought it. Latoya Ammons fought back tears when she told us how they fled in terror after her daughter was raised right off her bed. She says the demon sounded like this. We've waited five months. It sounded like something dead. She says she anointed the rooms with holy oil and read aloud from the Bible. But the nightmare went on and on and listened to a sound that cannot be explained by police who looked into the mysterious goings on. While two cops are talking in the basement, someone can be heard saying, You in there. What was your reaction? I was in shock. Enter Father Michael Maginot, a local priest who got permission from the Bishop of Gary, Indiana, to perform an exorcism on Latoya. Did you at one point believe this house was the portal to hell? It, there was a portal. Latoya moved out of the house and now lives many miles away. She knows her story is hard to believe. Some people claim that you made this all up, that this was some sort of an elaborate hoax. Is this a hoax? No. Uh, I don't feel that someone will have a reason to make something up like that. Do you believe that house is possessed by demons? I do. I feel that uh, there's something very bad going on in that house. Look at this damn chair. Every once in a while, look at that, there it goes again. Damn. Hey now, that's not funny. Hey, crap. Hey. Hey. Show y'all that the picture came from the in the back of my fucking yard. This 
this is the exact spot that I just <laughs> That's the exact motherfucking um, spot now. That's my backyard. I'm gonna in a little piece. Look at this is the this is the exact spot that I just <laughs> That's the exact motherfucking um, spot now. That's my backyard. I'm gonna in a little piece. This is the exact spot that I just <laughs> crazy ass fucking shit and I'm trying to make sure I ain't fucking tripping dog can't do anything mm. I see shadow I don't see anything what do you mean I don't know something with a shadow nah no, I don't see no. anything <laughs> it's not obvious at least I'll just sit down Wait, 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 what was it? It, like, disappeared. Was that the ball? What the fuck? He was not here. He you... was not here. You sure? I put it there. I put it there, I swear. I swear. Little taps is not good enough to convince an atheist. If I move over there, it's gonna go over there. It always does that. Oh, he hit me! He hit me! I feel that. Where are these balls coming from? Is that the same ball? This ball moved. Matter. Thank you. You move it again? A little more. See, it's getting us to concentrate over there. Now it might do something. We saw that. Yeah. It's, it's moving. Hey, man. There's a little energy. See, there's an aura over there. Some, something electromagnetic is causing it. You are teleporting objects. How the fuck are you doing that? That's interesting. And here is, look at that. All right, and just as I shut the camera off about a minute later, the object that the little ball here moved to there. So, it'd be nice if you could just move this right on the camera. It's not metal, so you know, people won't think it's a magnet moving it. Could you move it? You probably can move the other one. Thank you. Could you move it? You probably can move the other one. Thank you. So I am asking God. Oh, thank you. Oh. 
So I am asking God. Oh, oh thank you. Wow. And remember that? Oh, there's one over there. So there are more than one of these wooden ball things. Um. My heart's kind of stable, but it's, it's feeding off you more because you're scared of it. <laughs> you, you just gotta look at it as like a natural phenomenon. Hi guys, I've just put the camera on as part of activity tonight in the kitchen. It's banging that cupboard door. Do you want me out of this house As you can see, I'm alone in my bedroom right now. What was that? Come on, do what you've been doing all day. 
Ran randomly. Now I've got the camera on it, it's gone back up. Yeah, I know. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. There you go. Just, just be quiet. Just Come be on. very quiet. down and then back up. No, I know. It's healing balloon, for fuck's sake. Come on. 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 Come on.
Lazier! Lazier! Dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Get ready to go to bed myself. What the fuck is that? What? Oh God! Fuck! Dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Get ready to go to bed myself. What the fuck is that? What? Oh God! Fuck! Dogs are ready for bed. It's just a peaceful night here. Get ready to go to bed myself. What the fuck is that? What? Oh! Hello, I uh, decided I'm going to leave my uh, phone recording overnight, as long as it will record. Um, yeah, so. A little bit freaked out, guys. Um, it's no longer just at 11.30 anymore. I don't know what's going on now. Uh, I keep hearing bangs and just really weird noises coming from the basement. And uh, a few people said that I should leave my phone down there and try to record what's happening. So that's what I'm going to do. All right. I'm freaking stressed out like crazy.
My name is Don Mears. I am the director of a production company called Dojo Media. I'm on my way to spend four days with an Australian ufologist by the name of Damien Knott, who claims to have captured over 2,000 photographs and video of unidentified flying objects and paranormal phenomena. The first goal of this film is to see if we can start to understand what is happening to Damien and other people like him. Secondly, I want to try and work out what these objects are that he is seeing. And lastly, I want to see one of these objects up close and personal for myself. This is Australian Skies. Have a look near that bright star where we just were looking. Yeah. And see if you can, um, they might be back. Keep filming on that. What the hell was that? Did you just hear that? Yeah, something just smashed the bin. <laughs> the bin is completely empty. Look, in the camera. Something hit that bin hard. Uh, I could almost make that bin move. I, I heard it. We heard it. Yeah, we're all here. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I know. Yeah. Just um, kick the bin, like with your foot. No. That's... Wasn't that sound? No. That's that... solid. Well, this is the area of high strangeness. We have brought Damien Knott here as well to add to the equation. I think things are going to get very weird.